boy. We got a lot of, lot of rings of power stuff to go over. This show is looking more and more like a disaster every time something new comes out for it. But I want to play you this clip. There's no need for sound because it doesn't matter. This five second, actually it's four seconds from the Rings of Power. It's in Spanish, I believe, but it's still from the show. You have Warrior Gladriel jumping on a sword right here. See that? And she fights a troll right there. But it's like, this isn't an anime. This is supposed to be from serious literature. But she's jumping on a sword to attack a troll. It's just really cringy. You see it right there? I, I, I know the quality is really bad, but let me just try and show you this. Okay, there's the sword going down onto the ground there. And here comes Warrior Galadriel. She runs up, jumps on it right there. You see it? She's literally on the hilt of the sword. She's on the sword's hilt, maybe even crushing the man's hand. And then she takes off to slash this troll. This show is going to be a gigantic pile of garbage. I'm almost looking forward to how bad it will be because it'll be really fun to make fun of it. I might actually do review videos for this because this looks awful. This looks really, really cheesy and cringy and bad. All of the words rolled into one. It's also likely going to be woke, and people know that. I mean, look at the latest trailer. I haven't done an update video on this, but it hasn't gotten any better. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power SDCC trailer, 11 million views. Currently ratioed to hell, 78,000 likes to 293,000 dislikes. Every trailer that comes out for the show ends up like this because this is not Lord of the Rings. That's not what this is, but we're being told that's what it is. Looks like cheap trash in most cases. I mean, that scene with the sword jump is awful. Awful. And it's getting ripped up online. Everyone's making fun of it, by the way. Everyone's making fun of it. For some reason, this is cringing me out. I might cringe out of my body. They have a billion dollars to make use of and still can't fake decent physics on a mega launch jump. She looks so floaty. This is an effect from the 90s. It's like a Bollywood version of Lord of the Rings, but that would be an insult to Bollywood. This looks just awful. This is the most expensive TV series ever made. Half the budget went to the diversity, inclusivity, and equity panel. For F's sake, elf coordination is so good that the sword goes down without the head turning back while the other jumps. Not only is this just shit, it is less than worthy of Tolkien, not to mention that Gladriel isn't a sword fighter. And there's more and more and more. It just gets getting trashed online. 301 quote tweets. Everyone's ripping it up. All your favorite YouTubers had some funny quotes about it as well. All of us have been saying the same thing, though. This show's going to be awful. And I'm coming at this as just a fan of the movies. And knowing the history of garbage. What did this what did this show do the moment it debuted? We didn't know anything about it. It was mostly about the diversity and inclusion of the show. We didn't know any points of the show. Right there, red flags. Because you know what? If it was good enough, they would just let it speak for itself. They wouldn't make a big deal about woke shit. But they have to do that. The reason that they do that is to deflect criticism. Can't criticize it. What are you? Some kind of racist? Sexist? And we're seeing it more and more as we get closer to release. Here's from Bounding Into Comics, posted today, or yesterday, I'm sorry, August 3rd. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power actor, blows up Prime Video's representation narrative. Because, of course, that was always the first. Before they even hammered out the first script, I promise you, 
before the first script was written, they wrote out they wrote out how many characters are going to be and identify as a certain sexual way and how many characters are going to represent whatever background. The identity of characters became the like, became the priority over the story. And when you do that, it's never good. Nothing wrong with having representation, but the story should come first. That's the problem with a lot of modern Hollywood. But we've got this, and then also this one too. This is from yesterday, for hot off the presses. Uh, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power actress says her character is an activist. Credits Prime Video writers for giving female characters agency. These are all the talking points. You see what's going on here? It's not, well, I'm really excited because my character is going to do this. Like she talks about how her character is a healer. You know, maybe hype up something cool like that your character does while healing or the journey of your character, or some cool moment that you and another character do. No, that's not what we get. Instead, what we get is the fact that she's happy that her female character has agency. It's 2021. This isn't anything new. Like, this is most shows. And it's even, like, before 2021, there's been plenty of good female characters with a lot of agency. People act like this is a new thing. But here we are. Like, this is all of the talking points for this show. It has disaster written all over it. So you've got all of this. So, you know, people that watch a lot of Hollywood announcements with a very, very, a very keen eye because we're always looking for this shit now. And in some ways that can lead to bad things. But it's, it's hard not to when most of the shit that comes out of Hollywood is woke. Most of the stuff that comes out of Hollywood is complete garbage. And I don't think this is going to be any different. So you've got the regular fans already raising eyebrows. And you've already pissed off the people that like obsess over the lore, the huge diehard Tolkien fans. They don't want nothing to do with this show either. It's just a failure all around. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you have any hopes for this show? Do you think it might be good? Let me know in the comments below where you stand on this. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube... You can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.